Okay, today we're with Pat Dillon here in Cuffs Grange in County Kilkenny. He's Chagas Glambia monitor farmer. Uh, we're going to follow Pat uh, through the year, through his grazing, right through the year. So Pat, you're starting off now, if the cows are out. Uh, what percentage of your grazing has been a difficult spring? Uh, it's been a difficult spring. Uh, we have 12% graze. I should have around 20% graze, but ground conditions are too bad. Um, they go out for about three hours, most days there and then a few nights they've been out for two or three hours. Ideally, I like to let them out when they're hungry, so they usually get they're getting about two kilos of silage, and they usually have that gone around one o'clock at night. Just ideally, you want them going out hungry. And you're block grazing there, the paddocks. We see there today, you're block grazing. You have the wires up, you're block grazing. They're going to the back of the paddock first? They're going to the back of the paddock there first. Um, just walk them out over the grass, find do less damage. And yes. And you've no problem. You don't need to spare the spur roadway. You walk them right, right over. And there's no, Look, there's it no works for me well. It's 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 a narrow enough paddock, so once once it's not too wide, it's easy enough. And you can see the damage there is very minimal at the minute. Even just giving the three hours grade, the damage is very minimal. Yeah. Like you were expecting to have more grass on the farm at this stage. Your average farm cover, we we did an average farm cover is eight eight three. I suppose we were targeting to have a thousand uh, kilograms of grass. You have a high demand here at the minute. You have sixty percent of the cows calved. So just maybe the numbers calved. Yeah, 78 cows out of 130. Um, f first, ca the I'm about whatever two and a half weeks into the calving, um, so 100 due by the end of the month, and uh, whatever 120 due by St Patrick's Day. Okay. And also you're stimulating the farm, at the minute you're stimulating the farm to grow grass by getting the graze and getting that 30%, I know we're below the target, but you'll go hard at it to get 30% graze by early, um, by early March. Uh, you also have the nitrogen out, which you got the nitrogen out early enough in early February there. Yes. How much did you get out? Um, there's, a, there's about a little over half a bag of urea was spread there in early, f on, on say, on two thirds of the farm. It's wherever it was dry enough and then some of the place that got slurry. Okay, and that was done by a trade and shoe and injected. Yeah. Okay, thanks Pat, and we'll be following Pat, as I said, right through the year. We'll be back here again in three weeks' time, and we'll come back every three weeks to see how Pat is progressing, how his, his grassland management is progressing, and the management tools that Pat is using right through the year.